Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how I can combine the line art, build and noise modifier in Blender. So let's get started. For this project I'm going to use this car model here. You can of course use any other model as well. Just make sure your model doesn't have too many polygons because using the line art modifier can be very heavy on the computer. By the way, you can get this model for free for the link in the description, but you will have to sign up to CG Trader to be able to download it. I am not affiliated with them. The only thing I changed about this model is that I selected all the parts and then the body last and press Ctrl J and then I removed all of the materials. Now let's hit Shift A and go to Grease Pencil and add a blank. Go to the modifiers and select line art and set this to object. Select the object here and under layer select this and under material select black. As you can see we cannot see the line art. That's because we need to hit shift A and add a camera and press Ctrl Alt 0 to go into camera view. The line art will be projected through the view of the camera as you can see. As you can see we don't have any line art here. As far as I know Blender does this because this way it requires less processing power. And as you can see if we move the camera for example the line art will change accordingly. Select the blank again and add a build modifier and set the frames to Whatever end frame you want, I'm going to set it to 250. Let's go to camera view and now if we press play we've got something like this. I'm going to set the line thickness to 5. And let's also add a noise modifier. And press play. As you can see this is too strong so let's set it to 0.1. Now I'm going to position the camera. Like this for example. Let's hit shift A and add a plane and scale it up like this. Let's go to shading. As well as I will use this HDI. You can find a link to that in the description. Go to rendered view and go to the render properties. You can use cycles or EV for this. I'm going to use EV. I'm going to enable ambient occlusion, bloom and screen space reflections. With the plane selected click on new and let's shift click on the car and again shift click on the plane and now press ctrl L link materials. All I'm going to do here is to set the roughness to zero. Under color management make sure the look is set to very high contrast. In the output properties you can go here and select a resolution that you want. This is a new feature for Blender 3.3. I'm going to set the file format to JPEG and the quality to 100%. Once you've created an output folder, let's press Ctrl S to save. Once you've done that, go to render and render animation. Once it's done rendering, close this window and go here and go to video editing. Make sure you are on frame 1, hover over the file location and press Ctrl C to copy it and set the file format to FFmpeg video. Go to color management, set it to override and set the look to none. If you don't do this then the contrast will look more intense in the final video than in the separate images. Go to encoding and set the container to MPEG4 and the upper quality to high quality. And now go here and hit Shift A, image sequence. And as you can see, it already has the location here, so we don't have to paste it in. If you want to paste it in, just paste it in and remove the name here and hit Enter. Press A and Enter. Now let's save again and go to Render and Render Animation. So that's it for the tutorial, I hope you liked it, please let me know what I should do next and I'll see you next time.